guys, welcome back to 9 Nelsons. Today we are going to do an after school routine. I still have 10 kids in school and so it is a little bit crazy. I'm gonna bring you along. All right, the first thing that I like to do is kind of prep like the snack area. And I have it for a little while, we've been traveling and stuff, so this is gonna be fun for the kids. That's nice. Have all refreshed salad bar, all refreshed snack drawers, and so we can get off to a good start. <laughs> I just wanna know what you think about me when the summer's over. Hey, yeah, it's been a blast. I still remember even after October. And when the winter falls, just think about me and I'll keep you warm. What, you have a salad bar in your house? Yes, we bought a salad bar probably about six years ago. This is what it is. These are actually refrigerators, and then also this is refrigerated up here. It's like a traditional salad bar. Guys, it's about the same price as a fridge, and we use it all the time. It was one of my very best purchases. So if you don't have the ability to have this tra traditional salad bar, you can do a salad bar at home. What I used to do before I had this, is I would just have a big bin. It was not very deep, and then I bought different bins that fit inside, and I would just cut things up, put lids on, put the big lid on and stick it in my fridge. So I just had like a salad bar they could pull out and put on the counter. It's a good idea. That's what I used to do. I have this now, super grateful for it. Stars in your Surprise, your perfect light is shining on me. You like a dream sequence. Okay, now that I have all of this snack drawer stocked and the salad bar ready, I like to kind of prepare and make sure that my jurisdictions are in order. I'll explain more of that when the kids get home. They're gonna be home any second. All right, I just saw Lily pull up in her Jeep, and we've got Lily and Luke. Hi, we're filming. Hello. <laughs> Beautiful home. We're filming an after school routine. Say hi. That's my after school routine. Really. Hello, Nan fam. Hi. All right, guys, I have restocked the salad bar. I restocked the snack drawers. What? And yes, enjoy yourself. What? It's hi. delicious. And you're no the way. first ones to Gotta get go. to go. Here, wait, wait, get him, get him. Gotta get my food. <laughs> All right, so tell me about your day. I fell asleep in class today. What? Yeah. And got woken up by my teacher. Oh. It was just my teacher in class though. So. You're tired? Your teacher was like, okay. Well, I was sleeping like this, and then she like turned on lights because it was like two minutes before go. She's like, okay, wake up. And she just tapped my arm because it's Miss Dookie. And she's like, okay, it's time to wake up. And I was like, oh, oh my God. God. What's the best thing that happened to you and the worst thing? Best thing is I got all my work done. Wow. Best thing well, is that a thing for me there. I basically went to school and took a nap because I didn't have anything to do. And basically, um, Lily just goes to school done for the fun. Easy life, the senior over here. And then worst thing, I need to fill up my gas. Oh, it's low. Wow. Same. I need to go fill up Those all are my some gas. Serious. There's nothing bad that really happened today. That's not the kind of gas she was talking about, Luke. <laughs> I'm not. What were you thinking of? I know. I gotta go get Paisley. <laughs> To Lainey and Navy. Yeah. Do you see what time it is? Go get him. All right, guys, I am off to get Delaney and Paisley from school. Kind of feels like I'm a chauffeur all day long, to be honest, but it's like the best time to talk to your kids. I'm not kidding. Those times when they get done with school and they just kind of want to let everything out and just have good conversation, best time. And in the car, it's so great because, like, yeah, just. So I'm happy, I'm not complaining to be a chauffeur. Chauffeurs actually have a really good job. Hey guys, while I'm waiting for the kids to come out into the car, I wanted to thank Morgan Morgan for sponsoring this small portion of my video. When you're seriously hurt, your injuries can be worth millions. 
Just in the last couple of months, Morgan and Morgan has saw verdicts of 12 million in Florida, which is 34 times the highest insurance offer, 26 million in Philadelphia, which was 40 times the highest insurance offer, and then 6.8 million in New York, which was 25 times their highest insurance offer. Morgan and Morgan does not settle for lowball offers. Their fee is absolutely free unless you win. All right, the kids are almost here and I want to thank Morgan and Morgan again for sponsoring that portion of my video. And remember, you can start a claim with America's largest injury law firm with just a click. It's so easy. You can start your claim now with Morgan and Morgan at www.forthepeople.com forward slash Nelson. Or you can click the link in the description. All right, the kids look like they're coming out. They always love when I open at the top. Let's do it. Hey guys. Hello. Come on over. Hey guys. Hola. How was your day? Mid. 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 So now is mid the new good? No. It's no. That's like mediocre. Mid like is the new mediocre. Bad. Like not, not bad, bad, not, not good. good. Yeah. Alright, we got Miss Navy. How was your day? Good. Good? So I was like, I could totally drive this car because like it's so easy. Whatever right. this thing is called. What is it called? Um like a stick shift? Yes. No. Yeah, like you don't have to shift. I can just turn it and it goes in that thing. So it's pretty easy. This is park, this is reverse, this is neutral, this is drive. I don't know what that means. What is S? Well, driving is a little bit more about just knowing how to put it in drive. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, yeah, what is that one? Snow or something? Like when you're in the snow? Um, shift. Oh, shift. I don't ever use that, so. Yeah, so I'm already good. And I already know how to use the brake and everything. And drive, it's so easy. I just need to run the signs yeah. and I'm good. Are you serious? To learn the signs. Uh, and you need to turn the bird. Yeah, yes, Okay, yeah. well, I'll, I'll pass it. I'll, <laughs> it's a whole process, trust me. It's like. Once you get your permit test, you still have to drive a bunch and then you have to take your actual test. We're gonna go to the park right now we're, and my mom's gonna let me practice driving. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> and we're gonna see if I kill us or not. That's not happening. Yeah, yeah. actually let me drive. Yeah, me and me, me and me. No, I can actually drive. So can I. It's right. illegal. All you took the permit test for was just the signs. That's yeah, it. You have to have the paper with you. Yeah. So I can act like a Leo. I can act like a Leo. You're gonna, you're gonna I not can, pass the test. Well, I can act like a Leo. So. Maybe do you actually have your permit with you? Yes, I you do. do. All right. All right, let's go to the park and let's practice. We gotta get home and get everybody there after school snack. But I will never drive home to the last park. Drive can I drive home to the last park? Please leave. Hey, you have to understand. You this is gonna be my future car. You, you know, cannot drive when you're slow. This is gonna be my future car, so I'm fine. <laughs> All right, guys, I pulled over so the Navy can practice yeah, her driving. Yeah. Let's switch spots, Paisley. You don't have to be scared. It's all good. Hey, get in the back and buckle up. Oh, my God. oh this is scary. You're fine. Is she fine? I'm not really sure. Not. Hopefully, oh, she'll be fine. Right and then start it. No, we're not. We're not like this. You ready? <laughs> this is scary. It's not that scary. Do you want the top up? If you still save it with the top up, we can do yeah. the top up. Okay, so just do that the other so way. That Push that. People like, yell at me. Nobody's going to yell at you. Hey, nobody's gonna say that to you. You know how to drive? You passed the permit test. All right, getting the top back on, people. Okay. A little bit better. All right. Yes. So push in the brake. Now, now put it into drive. Okay. Paisley thinks this is her future car. You said it would. You Does said it could be. Go off? Well, you're gonna blinker that way. Remember, you're blinkering this way now because you're gonna go that way. So pull it down, blinkering the right way. Okay. And you're gonna look behind you and you're gonna make sure nobody's coming. Okay. So <laughs> tell me when nobody's coming. Actually, there's that one more track. Go. All right. Can you go now? One away. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. This is scary! <sighs> We're gonna wait till nobody's coming so she can Guys, this stress. is scary! <laughs> These cars, if there's no one else coming, you just go. Oh, I feel like I can never go. Why did you park right here? <laughs> this is a good spot. No, this is not a good spot. You oh, just... there's so many cars! Now, do you know where you're gonna go? So right when you pull out, you're gonna go right there and you're gonna turn right at the light. Yeah, after this car, you can go. So you just stay in the right lane. Maybe after okay. this car. After this gray car, hang on one second. And go. Softly and slowly go. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Do it. You know, we're staying in this lane right here. Doing great. Signal, you, signal yeah. to the right. Okay, perfect. It's a green light, go. so you can just go ahead and go and stay in this lane right here closest to us, right here. Perfect. Signal to that way. You always need to like wait for three seconds and make sure there's nobody there. Okay. You do have some bicyclists. So stay in this right lane right here. Just don't go over there, but stay in this lane where the gray car just went. Slow way down. You're doing good. You're gonna signal to the right. Wait till this guy goes, and then you're just gonna creep up to that line. <laughs> You're doing so good. Before you know it, you're you gonna be a pro. Driving. No, you're gonna be a pro before you know it. Now, guess what? The light just turned green, so you can just go. 
Now you're just gonna stay in this lane closest to us, okay? Now you're gonna wanna get over into that lane. So now listen, you're gonna signal to the left. Now you're gonna look in your mirror, is anyone there? Yeah. So wait till they go past you or back behind you. So down now you can get over right? Is there somebody there? Okay. Do I just keep going straight? Um, well, I guess that's not um, the way home, but yeah. I think you can go now. No, it's fine. She's gonna go straight. It's right. We'll go we'll go a special way. Going a special way I because maybe you couldn't get over because people were persistent. Turn this lane and then go that way and then turn. Yes, but we're gonna have to get over. But the hard part is, is why can't I just turn into here and then go straight? Okay, you wanna do that? Just turn right right here. You can go around this driving thing and come this way. So turn left right here. If you ever feel like you're going too fast, just tap the brake. You have to be aware of your surroundings and it's scary. I know. There's a, little, there's a train. There's a little choo-choo train, train happening, happening right there. there. Stay in this lane. I think Navy's doing really good driving. Give the studio a thumbs up. It was scary over there, I would say. Comment below how she, good she's doing so she can get some more driving confidence. Now you're gonna be turning right. We're making our way. The last time that I drove with one of my siblings, it was Sadie. And she almost I like it. this part because in the window I can see what the speed limit is. Yeah, it's fancy schmancy. Where? I that's why I want this car. This is a very this is like good for driving. It is. This is a good one for driving. Alright. Now you just stay in this lane. I'm gonna help Navy get home safely. And then we'll get these guys their snacks. I'll be honest, right after I pick these guys up from school, I generally let them go. Where do I let you guys go? Some, yeah, sometimes we go to Swig and get an after school drink, but maybe just a couple days a week. Today we're not going to though, today we're gonna get home and so we can show you what else we do besides pick up kids all after. 30 miles an hour, you're doing so good. I think I'm just scared of stoplights because right here I'm not scared. You don't feel scared here. Yeah. That's awesome. It's like intersections, like it are a little bit scary. Or when people are coming and you have to merge into it. Yeah. Like that's hard. Navy, you did not talk to it! Nice! No! That's awesome. All right, good job. Let's go have a snack. All right! I got oh. three more homes. And guess what, everybody? I'd like to make an announcement. I'd like to make an announcement. It's like a date. I am not <laughs> Navy drove all the way home. Wait, actually? Yeah. That's why it took you for a minute. Scared of driving, guys. This. I know that's what I'm but saying. But that's I, really good. I think I have a fear of driving, and I don't know if that's a thing. But maybe I, maybe I you, actually was scared. you actually did so good. That's gonna solid one. Oh, all right. What are you guys doing over here? Huh? Getting food. Getting well, food. I'm gonna get some speed strawberries. Give me this. No, I need to get my cucumbers. I need to get my cucumber. This girl calls me like you do. Nobody wants. Nobody knows me Nobody. like you. You guys ready for this? Miss <laughs> <laughs> Smith, this is no time to be laughing. That was a very pleasing. How was your day? Good. Good? These guys said their day was mid. Is that a new like term? My day was mid. Yeah. That's now when people ask me how my day is, I'm gonna say, it was mid. You're saying it was bad and good. It was bad and good. Well, every day would be mid then because every day has bad parts and good parts. Speaking of that, what was the best part and the worst party. Going to lunch with my siblings. You went today to Chick-fil-A with your siblings? Did you go with Luke and Lily? Nice. And Sadie. Nice, and Sadie. Awesome, what was your worst part? Um, meeting me. Uh, I don't know, there wasn't a bad part No yet. bad part, hopefully it'll be all right. Got cheer coming up later today, Cheers. so. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be fun. Okay, how about you, Miss Paige, the giant? Getting yelled up by my teacher? Cause I'm always late to her class. She always late to her class, better walk faster, chica. How much time do you have in between classes? Three. Three minutes? Are you kidding? <laughs> you have to walk from one class to the other in three minutes? I have to walk across the whole school. Oh, man. I might be late then too. That's probably like you better run. How about you, Lane? You know boys in basketball. Wow. Holy sheesh. Wow, what was your worst? Going to Chinese class. Mm -hmm. Bill, <laughs> Bill. <laughs> she was so mad, but I remember going one time. So Wait, fun. you're on your phone? Same. Naughty, naughty, girl. Naughty, naughty. Naughty, naughty. Yeah, I'm going to have Everyone else plays games. I'm on her phone. Everyone else plays games in that class, so I just go on my phone. Yeah, everyone plays Scrumble, guys. Well, maybe you should start for teacher. Awesome. Fine, I'll be more respectful of my teacher and not turn on my phone. She will. Jane will not be bringing her phone to school anymore, I guess. Way to go, Mom. All right, well, it's 
has been a fun conversation. When you're done, I've moved the jurisdictions to different jurisdictions. Okay, so gonna have the dishes So we're gonna right. explain to our Nen fam what the jurisdiction chart even is. Do you guys wanna explain it to him? Yeah. Basically, it's your job for your house. It's your job that you do at the house, but this is how it works. My mom likes to use fancy words. I like to use fancy words like jurisdiction, but it's basically like your job. All right, this is our joyful jurisdiction chart. If you are a true member of the Nen fam, you have probably seen this before and heard about it. But if you are new, this is how it works. So the kids have a different area that they are over. So theater and YouTube room, that is a jurisdiction. And when your name is there, you are in charge of that space the whole week, which means if anyone leaves anything out, once you've got a you queen, get a ticket. You can get a ticket. What happens, Maloney, if you get three tickets? Then you're in mom jail. What is mom jail? You have to do extra chores. Just for like one deep cleaning it's job. It's basically yes. like a harder job than your job. Yeah. And you just have to complete it before you can hang out because you're yes. in mom jail. Like cleaning all these lockers. Ooh. Uh, Amy would enjoy that. No. But if your job is the kitchen, even if you left something out, like in the theater, you got in mom jail, You'll go to your kitchen and maybe deep clean a cabinet or something yeah. like that. But really, when's the last time any of you guys have been a mom, Joe? Never. Never. No, not very often because yeah. these guys are pretty good at cleaning up after themselves. Anyway, get your jurisdictions done, get your homework done, and let's move on. I got the family room, which is upstairs, so let's go do that. All right, guys, my job is hauls and trash, so let's go do that. Alrighty guys, my job is basically already done. I don't have to do plants because there's no plants right now because everything's dead because it's winter. And the mudger, it's already done, basically. And the closet is done too. So all I have to do is the stairs. Guys, my toe is actually bleeding. It's kind of been bleeding all day. I just didn't realize it until now because it's been hurting. So anyways, I'm gonna do the stairs because there is plastic right now on the stairs. So don't get it dirty because there's a secret room going on up there, so shh. But now, I just gotta clean up these and I'm good. Okay, so right now I'm fluffing the pillows and making the couch look good. And I think the pillows just need fixing because like, I don't think the carpet really needs to be vacuumed or anything. So I'm just gonna fix the pillows and hopefully that's good. boxes in the corner. They look like they're from someone's room. Maybe like Elsie's, that seems like an Elsie thing. But I might just go ask my mom just in case. So this is a part of the whole living room too. I got this whole space. And this is Ledger's toy, so I'm just gonna keep it out here so I don't interrupt his playing time. And then both of these garbages are empty, so I think we're honestly just chilling. I think I'm good to just go do whatever. So I'm gonna go do my homework up in my room. And me and Cozy are kinda tired, so we're both gonna go take a nap before we have cheer. Well, I guess we'll I have cheer. So I have theater and YouTube room. YouTube room isn't that bad, but if you look in here, let's just say I can't really do much because somebody is getting a surprise secret room, I guess you could say. So we won't touch that, but we can clean up this. So actually, I'm not gonna do anything because there's nothing to do in here. But how about I give you guys a sneak peek at the new secret room? Also, all this stuff in this hallway was in that secret room before. So the real question is, is it going back in or is it not? All right, so now, any minute now, that, right there's the minute, Sadie is gonna come home. And hi, Sadie. Hello there. So every other day, Sadie gets home with maybe, but perhaps a day. Because I take honors, because I'm smart. She is so smart. I'm smart like that. So you are gonna have your after school snacks. Everything's all stocked nice for you. And then you're gonna do your jurisdiction and your homework. Cool? Jurisdiction. Jurisdiction. I don't know about that one. All right, she's gonna do her jurisdiction. She's actually really good at doing her jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. All right, and then I Lazy. have to head out the door to go get the elementary kids, so yeah. So you're leaving. So good luck. Instead of having Swedish fish, I'm gonna have something healthy. All right, what does that one give me? Your heart. A sandwich. A sandwich. I made a really good turkey sandwich yesterday, you guys. Mm -hmm. The feeling it gave is when you're done boating and you have that sandwich with some Doritos. Whoa. That's definitely a feeling. It was quite exquisitely busting. Or something. Did it hit? It slap. It slaps. I learned all the lingo. Are you proud of me? Oh, um, tell, teach me some other lingo real quick. Chat's tripping in the chat. Wait, chat's tripping in the chat. 
Try to trip it, you gotta be a thug and thug it out. Oh. Oh. That doesn't sound at all. No realistic. cap, girl. That, that sounds real, no cap. No cap is like no lion, right? No cap, the drip is fire. The drip, drip is um, like what you're wearing, right? The drip is fire. And fire means like it's real cool. Like legitimately broski. Legitimately broski, like a legitimate friend. Yeah, like my BG, I got what you was saying. Yeah, like your friend, I understood what you meant. Wow. Hey, I failed my test. Thug it out. Just thug it out. Thug it out. I, I got this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> thug it out. Rizzy with the lady. I would say Rizzin is like like the thing you guys do. Like, mm, like that's, that's not that's Riz. Riz. That's not Riz. Well, what's the whole thing? That's not Riz. Riz. Oh, Riz. Riz. Really? Yeah. That was like, oh, look. And then you went like that. Yeah. But that's that's not Riz, right? That's a Sigma male, right? Like, now has Riz changed? The Riz has gotten to a W. No, 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 no. Wait, what? Taking W is like you win, right? Yeah, so you got that W Riz. But if you got that L Riz, you got that loser Riz. Oh, loser Riz, winning Riz. I'm getting him. Do you still have Riz is a real question because you're married. I have a lot of Riz with the person that I care about having Riz with, so. The Riz is crazy, that's wild. But I feel like I'm really getting the hang of this. I have to go get the kids, which is super cool, and I hope that that carrot really hits on the You're gonna say, all right, bro, I gotta hit the road. Chat's gotta go pick up the kids, about to zoom off in the Bugatti. But who's Chat? I don't even know who he is. Chat. Go get the kids. Get with it. Is Chat gonna go get the kids? Because that would make my life really easy. <laughs> Not chat. chat. Tripping. All right, I'm out. She's dipping the chat. She left the chat. All right, you're last. I'm gonna out. Hey, hey. I tried. All right, so now I'm off to the elementary school. Yes, it is an awful lot of driving, people. Um, My hair got a little bit cray cray. Wait, is that at work? Yeah, that had me going there for a minute with all of her crazy lingo. I think I'm kind of getting it down, but I wouldn't really talk like that to anyone else but my kids. Because if I'd talk like that to my mom, she'd be like, what the heck are you even saying, child? Or to anybody else that's over the age of 16. <laughs> I don't think Cash and Ken would talk like that. Anyway, going to get the elementary kids. All right, you guys, my snack for the day is a Yahoo, because I love me some good chocolate milk. Pirate's booty, because I love this, it's superior. After I'm done eating this, I'm gonna check my grades, actually, see if I have any homework, and then I'm gonna look at my jurisdictions, and then I have to go clean them. And I should be good for the day, and chill. I was gonna fill you guys in on some info, because you might be wondering, like, where's the dad of all these kiddos? His name's Benji. He's amazing. He works just as hard as I do, if not harder. He has a job, he builds and develops properties, but also he is the head soccer coach for our local high school, for both the girls and the boys. So he is a busy guy making a difference in his own way. But he's usually not in videos a ton, but don't think he's not very active at home. Like I really do not know what I would do without him, so. All right, on to get the little. All right, you guys, checking the jurisdictions. I got dishes, as you can see. Well, lucky for me, I'm pretty sure nobody has used any dishes today. So let us go check out what we are working with. Guys, I'm thriving. You know what's in here? Just a water bottle and a knife and a peeler. So you know what we gotta do with this? Pump that out. I think it should be clean. Wait, why are none of these actually dirty? None of them are dirty. People are just joshing around and I keep using that too much. I'm done, just gotta put it away. That was the easiest job ever. So now I can go take a nap. All right, we got the little. Hi guys. Oh. How was your day? Good. 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 Okay, buckle up your buttercup. Are right, you guys buckle back there? Yep. You buckle. The best thing about picking up the littles is they are not too cool for school. They like to still dance and they still think I'm kind of cool. And yeah, so let's dance. Wait, did you just wink? Why would you do that? They don't matter. <laughs> all right. So, all of the snacks are stocked. Tell the bar is ready. You have your homework. Let's have some fun. That is a raw powder. Right. Shake, rattle, and roll. I said shake. Taste test. Sure. Nice. No. While the kids are having 
their snacks and starting their homework. I actually have to run back in really quickly to a doctor's appointment, but it's gonna be super quick. I'll be back before they even get ready for cheer. All right, guys, I'm cooking noodles over there and I have to wait for it to boil. So I'm gonna go to my job. So my job is to hang out, but I think it's pretty done. Okay, guys, I wanna do my job first. My job is the living room. So as you know, my mom left with Beckham to a doctor's appointment. I'm gonna take over the mom duties right now and help the kids with their homework and tell them what their jobs are. And most importantly, what was your highs and lows today at school? All right, Presley, what was your high today and what was your low? My low was waking up because I hate waking up. Okay. And my high is gonna be going to bed. Going to bed? All right, Elsie, how about you? My high was getting a good score on my test today. <laughs> my low was, oh, getting dressed. Huh? Get I hate getting dressed. What? I'm so confused. Well, now that we have figured out what their highs and lows were today, we're gonna do some homework with them. If I even know how to do this homework, let's go. <laughs> You're supposed to be doing your job, I not am. making a mess. Put it on Beckham's teeth right here. That's not what I saw. What am I supposed to do if Sadie's sleeping on the couch? I just have to do it later. My thing just tipped over all my noodles. So now all my noodles are in the sink. Sad, sad day. That's my low of the day. All right, guys, so as I said, my job is already clean. That tells you stuff, I'm not allowed to touch it. This is already clean, so I technically have nothing to do. All right, guys, I'm done with the hangout. My food's already ready, so I guess that's all I have to do now. All right, I am back from Beckham's doctor's appointment. It went super fast. These guys need to, however, get ready for cheer. So these guys go first. So you guys get ready. Want to take them along with you? Sure, I'll take them along with me. All right. Okay, guys. So I just really woke up from like an hour nap. I think my body's like reset to go to cheer because I was so tired from school and school is so exhausting. So it kind of made me tired. So I took a nap. Now it's time to get ready for cheer. Today we have like a send off thing for cheer. And if you don't know what that is, it's, this week we have a competition. I feel like it's not bigger than Summit, but it's like really fun. It's NCA. We are super excited to go. This is our first year going. And today we have like a send off for parents and anyone can come watch. So I think that's gonna be really fun. Okay guys, get ready with me to get go to cheer. My black practice top is supposed to be in here. Oh, found it. Yeah. Okay. Now I gotta find box shorts. I gotta find some shorts of rooms. Oh my closet. Oh yeah. I might like I like yeah. I gotta touch up my makeup though. Say Texas. Woo. Okay, we're just gonna put on a little blush. Make my cheeks look a little rosy. Cute. See? I got this new blush. I love it. It's so good. Alright. I think we're done with the face. Now it's time to do my hair. We're gonna put it in a pony. And then we're gonna put those like two braids. I think we're gonna put like a purple bow. Just to like match our theme and everything. So let's do it. I just changed because I had to switch her on and I had to put my cheer clothes on. So we're supposed to wear like cheer colors. So I'm wearing a blue lemon um, sports bra that's purple and then my white skirt. And kind of really theoretical right now, but I'm hoping that it will not be as windy when I get there. So I'm gonna do my hair. All right, my hair is done. I put the two clips in and then I put purple clips in and then I did two braids and now it's time to put my two shoes on and go to cheer. actual outfit under here. I'm just really cold, so I'm wearing a sweatshirt right now. But I think I'm all ready for a share. I have a few more things to grab before I go downstairs, but I'll meet you down there. Guys, I ran out of time because I couldn't find shorts, so I'm in a rush. All right, we got water. Check. Okay. Hugs. Check. Mom's Mom, so is so taking them to my cheer. Check. Yes. Thank you. You are a rock star helper. Don't know what I do with that. Bye, love you. Bye-bye. All right. Four more other cheerleaders to get ready. I already got ready for cheer. We had tail, got our socks, you know, all the above. I just had to put on my cheer shoes and I'm ready to go. I'll see you guys down there. All right, you guys, I don't know. Sorry for being so tired. I just woke up from a nap. So I just need to put on final touches and then I'm perfectly fine to go. Cheer clothes are on, gotta do hair, shoes, and then I'm ready to go. All right, you 
you guys, I'm ready to go. All right guys, I'm all ready for cheer. Now time to head downstairs. Guys, I hear the call my name, but I have to finish a couple more things really quick. This is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a sweatshirt because it's kind of good outside. And my shoes are downstairs, so I have to run and go grab those, and then we can go. Oh, guys, I need a water bottle, guys. Can someone give me a water bottle, guys? All right, we are running a little bit late. Today is a fun day because I could actually watch the kids' performance here, yeah. so I'm going to stay, and you guys can go along with me. Oh, no. <laughs> we just had a concert going on, but then I pushed record and they stopped. Oh, look at them. They're all... 